Hey, wrestling fans, this is Gary Michael Capetta, and you're listening to Perched on the Top Rope. The following announcement has been paid for by Perched on the Top Rope. During your time in WCW, you got to travel, you got to travel the world. What was the, the traveling like? Did you have a favorite country while being able to essentially tour the world and work at the same time? I, I'd say the UK. I really, yeah. I always enjoy going to the UK. I, I love Germany too. You know, Germany was, the fans were, you know, were fun. Um, they were really starved for live wrestling action. Mm-hmm. So when we came to town, it was uh, it was a truly a, a huge happening. And when we toured in Europe, we were treated um, like a touring rock and roll band. So because the promoters that brought us, that's what they did. They, you know, mostly they uh, they had Michael Jackson on tour. They had Prince on tour. They had mm-hmm. um, Springsteen on tour. So we got the same treatment. And we weren't accustomed to that, um, where uh, they would, um, from from city to city to city, there was um, a catering vehicle that was part of the the caravan. So you got to know the cooks, you know, and and they would cook for you, and it was, uh, you know, who who could not like that? Yeah. All um, right. I enjoyed visiting different places. I enjoyed meeting different people. Um, it was also before 9-11, so it was easier to travel. It was easier to get in and out of airports and in and out of uh, rental car companies. And so you could show up at an airport um, 40 minutes before your flight and not and drop your car off and there'd not be a problem. But um, so I don't know that I could do it today, you know, on that do that many events in the course of a year yeah uh, and still retain my sanity yeah um i was just in wisconsin for a guest ring announce gig a couple weeks ago and um you know i i I don't know that i could do that every day it was and it was enjoyable and everything went well took the train to the plane someone was there at the airport to pick me up an hour and a half to the uh casino where i announced next morning they were there i mean it was it was flawless as far as you know, those promoters uh, it was a uh, midwest all-star wrestling they they did a great job and i i appreciated their hospitality um so that was the best of circumstances and and, and those was long days and 10 degrees below zero and yeah you know i can do it here and there but i i don't know about that being a daily grind for me I'd been to London and Dublin, England and Ireland, two beautiful countries. And um, it, now it got me thinking, um, when you had heard WCW was going to go to North Korea, what did you think about that? And did you watch the Dark Side of the Ring episode on it? Um, I don't think I did watch that. Okay. And it was not something in my orbit. Um, it, it had nothing to do with me. So I really, uh, you know, at the time, um, I, I don't know, I had no connection to, to the North Korean show. Okay. If, if they'd asked you to have gone and been a ring announcer, would you have done it? Yes. Hey everyone. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit the like button. And make sure you hit subscribe so you can get all our content here at Perched on the Top Rope. And fans, remember, spoiler freeze, the way to be. I'm out. Mm.